Good morning. Hey, Jeffrey. Hello, everyone. We'll give folks a few more minutes. Jeffy, do we have a public agenda and notes doc somewhere linked? We do. I'm realizing our public meeting dates and agenda board doesn't have any of that linked on it. So that's the public meeting working doc. And then let me. And then there's the slides for today. Sweet. Hey. Let me see here. Um and when we are ready, I can share my screen. And hit record too. Um, let's, let's give everyone another minute. Well, that works out because guess what I don't have? The mm. host key. Oh, that's always fun. I'm glad we're still testing this. It's okay. I have a seat belt. Right. I'm going to give everyone one more minute. Got 16. Ah, we got 16. Let's go for it. Sound good? Give everyone one more minute so <laughs> I can get the host key. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not recording this. I think I need more coffee. Thanks, GP. It's, I got it's you. It's already recording. It's recording right oh, now. Oh, it is technically already recording, yeah. yeah. Oh, fun. This means, this means you can't kick anybody. There's no ban. I need that power. All right, we are currently waiting on the host key for GP to present slides. Oh, no, I think I can still do that. Let's double check. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can do that. All right, well, we'll get started. All right, hello, everyone. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, and this is the TOC public meeting with our tags. Next slide, please. Your participation and attendance at this meeting means that you are abiding by the Linux Foundation's antitrust policy notice. If you are unfamiliar with it, you can go to linuxfoundation.org forward slash antitrust hyphen policy and review it and familiarize yourself with it. Next slide. Um, if you are here, you've made it to the meeting and you've got all the logistical information, we should really look at moving this slide. <laughs> Next slide. And we have several TOC members uh, here today. Um, you'll notice that we are currently holding steady at 10 TOC members. We would like to thank Erin Boyd for her service on the TOC. She has been a remarkable member and we wish her all the best in whatever fun activity she's got planned next. Um, and the TOC is taking our, we're submitting nominations to fill that vacancy. Um, so next slide. All right, um, so we have a relatively short agenda today. We're gonna to talk about tag updates, working group updates and sandbox changes to include tags. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so we've been holding these tag update meetings on the first Tuesday of every month for a very long time. And we recently made changes from the 
original slide deck presentation where tag chairs or technical leads went through their slides and kind of presented that content to the TUC in the community um, as it was being recorded. Um, we made a couple of changes to that template to focus a little bit more on the tag health as well as the projects that they're working on, both to ensure that the TOC is aware of what's going on with the tags, how they're working, how they're functioning, if they need support, um, as well as increasing the visibility and the awareness of the activities that are going on with the tags. We are aware that the TOC YouTube channel and mailing lists um, all get a pretty um, diverse array of individuals that view and observe um, and participate um, in the content that's generated from here. So we see the TOC uh, meetings as a platform for increasing visibility and awareness. And that only works when we have content to talk about and share. We also recently made changes to move the specific tag updates to the mailing list in hopes that they would spark some of that conversation. The TOC mailing list has a ton of people that are subscribed to it. Ideally, we want to put that out there so all of the subscribers to that mailing list know what's going on in every single one of the tags. They can drill in more. They can click through the links, understand how they can participate and, and know more about what's going on. Um, so we've made all of these changes. But um, we've started to see a slowdown in some of the tag technical specific discussions. Um, we're not seeing a lot of the back and forth on the TOC mailing list, either from chairs and liaisons or community members on what's going on with the tags. And we kind of wanted to dig in a little bit more and understand from both the TOC and well as well as the TAG leadership, how do we want to use these meetings going forward? What's working, what's not working based off of both the need to understand what's happening within the TAGs and also increasing the visibility and awareness of those activities and the health of the TAGs. So I'm going to stop talking and I may will invite anyone to speak. Anyone? We can start with TOC members on how they're finding the, the changes that we've started making or some of the, the tag chairs and technical leads on how they feel the changes are going. Is it too much work? Is it not enough work? I know Kubernetes does different things. Okay. Karina? Sorry, um, hotel Wi-Fi. Um, so some things that coming out of Kubecon, that at least for our tag, I know Leon's here too, for app delivery, um, between a change in leadership and um, as um so we don't we don't have our updates out yet and i saw leo's and those are awesome and so we'll get those out soon um so i'm wondering with the other tags like is there a change there's a lot of excitement for working groups and new working groups but then overall tag leadership for people to do more of the core work um we've seen um more turnover as people have um you know, day to day jobs are, you know, taking over more. Um, and um, I know somebody had talked about um, how to position the work that everybody does for their companies to get more support for the time that that is doing this, because a lot of people also do this on their own time. Um, so I, it would be good to hear from all the tags, like how everybody is handling that. Um, just to put that out there, I think that the the slides before helped only when people updated them, but it wasn't um, same with the the mailing list, right? So um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Yep, thanks for sharing. Others, Marina, I'm gonna I'm gonna call on you. Yeah, yeah, I think in general, I like the email updates because they seem more more efficient, right? We can just do it and get the comments and kind of asynchronously think about think about the problems. 
Um, one thing I did notice this this month was that I think previously there'd been like an email saying, you know, reply to this thread with your updates, which at least for me was a nice reminder because I know I haven't gotten it out this month and I'll do that soon, but um, I guess because I noticed other people doing it, but yeah, that, that reminder is nice. So it's that That's my bad. No, no problem. No blame. I just, just throw that out there. <laughs> we're, we're still learning where Amy fit into the entirety of the process and where we need to pick things up. So definitely, um, I think we had talked about earlier this morning with Jeefy about when's a good time to send those reminders out. So it'll probably come the week before, unless you all have a preference for when you would like to be reminded. Is a week enough time? Do you need two weeks? A week, a week we'll start the time. I think it sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. A week seems reasonable. Cool. Yay. We made a decision. Awesome. Um, other tag leadership that we haven't heard from yet. Does the email or the docs link to an email work for providing some of these updates? And are you, and then my follow-up question would be, do you feel like you're getting enough feedback from your TOC liaisons on the work it is that you're doing? Because that's largely what these are for is a mechanism to start that conversation to ensure that the TOC is aware of what it is that you're doing in addition to the broader community. Safe space. We're all trying to make this better for everybody. Matt, you came off camera or came on camera. What's your perspective? Um, <clears throat> well, to to be completely honest, um, uh, for the last I'd say six weeks, uh, for the first time in like forever, um, decades really, I I took a an actual honest to God, honest to gosh sabbatical, um, uh, and so I'm I'm just back sort of today. Uh, our last tag meeting. Uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, uh, there were not any in attendance at all. Um, uh, so I, I think we need a third active chair. We've had two chairs for the entirety of tag observability. Um, and um, I was pretty burnt out. <laughs> so I'm back and we have an agenda and, 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 and all of that. And I think when we go, when we go uh, sort of at least Marshall, mar Marshall interest, if you will, um, then then you know there's a lot of activity. There are working groups driving as well that are really not um, not requiring. They're under their own steam and they're actively doing doing stuff and they have their own channels and their own uh, and their own dialogue. So I think, um, uh, but 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 so I can't actually comment, you know, on on the specific topic at at hand. Uh, but I do think that there's. Um, a huge amount of interest generally, and there needs to be sort of like a spark. So we could really use like a co-chair that can motivate resourcing uh, or or is a little more, is connected at least in some of the vendor community, for example. Um, you know, so like there's all kinds of good choices, um, uh, but we'll just put out there that we need a third active co-chair uh, for sure. Okay, noted. Uh, so that would, Ricardo and Kathy, um, I don't know that Kathy's on the call today if she is. Um, if you could work with tag observability and potentially identifying um, someone to step into that role, um, or at the very least identifying a potential contributor who is interested to get them ramped up and on that path to potentially becoming a technical leader or co-chair, um, potentially even pulling from maybe one of the existing working groups if someone is interested. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Awesome. All right. Uh, let's see here. I heard from app delivery and observability. Ricardo Ravana. Oh, Don. Don, go ahead. You came off mute. Yeah, I think I think one of the challenges, I mean, I, I do like the idea of sending them, uh, you know, putting them in a doc or sending them in an email. I think that uh I think we also need to think about the reality that having to present them in a meeting was a forcing function to get them done. Um, and I'll be honest with with KubeCon and holidays and uh, other conference travel, uh, we have not. I don't. I don't think that we've actually done any of the email updates from Tag Contributor Strategy, and that's that's our bad. A reminder would would help, but but I think we need to balance. Um, 
you know, not having the forcing function and just maybe just getting people in the habit of doing it. Um, maybe if we can get people in the habit of doing it, it, it will work just fine. Um, but we are, I think we need to think about the reality that we are missing this forcing function that, um, you know, we're not called in a meeting to present something. Okay. Um, so we can certainly take that back and, and figure out how we can provide a forcing function without necessarily requiring the full breadth of a, of a presentation necessarily. So it might be that we go around with all the tag leads one by one and confirm kind of some of the discussion points, having maybe the liaisons lead part of that discussion if those email updates are coming in advance. Or we could give it just a little more time and see if see if it okay. works. I mean, maybe maybe yep. this discussion and the reminders will will help us. But okay, but yep. I, I do think we should just think about the fact that we're missing that that forcing function. Yep, appreciate you bringing that up, Ricardo or Ravena. Uh, yeah, I think the email updates are great. Um, and we've been working with Nikita; she's been providing feedback on the documents. So. I think that works out great. I just think uh, to be consistent, maybe, yeah, we can send out reminders, uh, like on Slack, sounds good. Having uh, maybe a, a message that mentions uh, the tag uh, chairs and leads uh, to actually send the updates or, or provide the updates on a document. Yep, okay, cool, awesome. Uh, anyone else have thoughts on that before we move to working group updates? All right, cool. Jeefy, you got notes on that? Yes. Excellent, superb. All right, um, so let's do some working group updates, exploratory group stims. Who is probably not on the call today. Correct, Dims said he might not make it and I did not see him on here. All right. Is there um, a member of the exploratory groups um, working group that can provide us with a quick, quick update on directions? I know that there's been some discussion going on. Okay. Um, how about DTRs? Karina, I know that you're on the call. Um, yep, we had a meeting last Thursday, and we are going to have another one this Thursday for anyone who'd like to join. Um, we, um, you'll have more information the next time we all meet. So right now, it's great all um, bringing everybody together, and uh, really thanks to Katie for pulling in people from the tab, also end user, the end user group. So um, it's great um, all the support from all the tags. So looking forward to next Thursday or this coming Thursday. So anyway, and I will send out uh, an update to the Slack channel for that as well, if anybody else would like to join. Awesome. Thank you. Um, there was a question in chat on if there's a working group already for the exploratory groups. Um, I believe that there is a chat channel at the very least for it. I don't recall if there is a meeting invite with a cadence. So what we will do is I'll ask Dems to provide a little bit more information on how folks can get involved. Um, let me just take that real quick. And then, uh, yeah, there's a Slack channel. Thank you, Ricardo. Um, and then leadership roles and contributor letter group update. Uh, yeah, about this, so Leo has been great and he's added a bunch of stuff around different roles for the contributor ladder, even a nice diagram for it. So thank you, Leo. Uh, we've still got some of the things remaining around leadership terms and uh, some of the things that we need to figure out around the processes for the contributor ladder, but it's on track and should be should get done soon. Awesome. Okay. So it sounds like we're making progress on, on all of these and that's fantastic. All right. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was sandbox applications. 
Um, so we've talked a little bit about this in the past and we've started to kind of continue to move down this path of bringing the tags more into the sandbox application process. Um, and currently the TOC does not require projects to present to a tag um, in order for us to make a decision. But what's been the practice is we go through and we're looking at a project and for most of them, it's beneficial to have that tag recommendation or that tag insight on where this project fits in the ecosystem. How does it compare with others? Does this fill an existing gap? Um, or is this yet another kind of like distinguishment or slight variance within this particular domain that addresses um, some adopters use cases, for instance. Um, it, there are still occasions where the TAC may review a project and we don't necessarily need a tag review or recommendation associated with it because we're already aware like there's a clear gap here this needs to be filled we've talked about it before um but so the proposal that we're looking to make a change to is actually formalize that requirement with an exception that allows the toc to make a decision on a project um without having to go through that tag review we don't expect that to happen very often but we do expect it to occur probably sporadically throughout the year, maybe one or two or three projects. Um, but I wanted to check here because I know that there has been concerns in the past on tag availability for conducting those um, to get a presentation from a project, as well as understanding what kinds of content should be presented to the tag so that they can formulate that recommendation. It's a little bit where the DTRs kind of come in. Um, so I wanted to get a pulse from everyone here. We've talked about it a little bit internal to the TOC, um, but what do the tag leads and chairs think about those changes? Sorry, what are what are the changes? Or is there like a um, GitHub? Issue Sorry, or... it's not on a GitHub issue. It it's a proposal to formalize um, as part of the sandbox application project or process. Projects should present to a tag and receive a recommendation from a tag um, for the TOC to make a decision on the project to move it to a vote. So we're still having our sandbox meetings, but the expectation is um, during a sandbox meeting with the tag chairs and leads, and we're talking about a project that all of the projects have gone through a tag review and we have a recommendation on it at the time of that discussion with a limited exception for that. And if the request is, can we have an issue or a PR for these changes so we can all look at it, that's totally fine. And, and we can throw that together and get that out on the sandbox repo and share it out for further discussion. But I wanted to get kind of a sense of is this something that's achievable with the tags, making this actually a requirement? I think uh, one concern is the the timing. If if there are a lot of sandbox projects, uh, usually the tags meet twice a month, uh, and there may be a larger amount of sandbox projects in the queue, and they may not actually have time to to uh, see the project uh, presentations. But the, I mean, it, it depends on, on the number of projects too. So, but, uh, or, or one thing that could be done is, is have a very short, short presentation on, on each one of these projects if we, if we uh, have a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Leanne and then Karina. I think um, so. I'm just quick. I'm Leanne from the Tech App Delivery. Um, and so, what I'm thinking is that we are already um, like a bit full up on project presentations. So, we have like, we also have already had to limit them to two a meeting. And even that I feel is very exhausting um, because there's going to be like 20 minutes at least. Um, so, we were trying and thinking about ways to maybe not have presentations in the meeting as much, maybe asking projects to record a presentation or demo beforehand, have attendees watch them and then only discuss in the meeting. Um, so if, if that is something that would be possible, um, that would be good because we're trying to like move the, the actual presentations out of the 
general meetings. And um, yeah, the other thing is that if we are to move forward, I would really appreciate like a checklist of some sort, like what are things that are very important for us to look at um, also to give, you know, the, the audience a little bit of an idea where they um, want to pay more attention to. Thank you. That's it. Karina? Um, so that's one of the things that we're talking about for the domain technical reviews is that um, obviously the checklist that we talked about uh, for each domain. So for example, for tag app delivery, and as Leon was saying, um, it, the the presentations just format isn't working. Um, it's not enough information for to get an accurate technical review of a project if the tags are going to be helping uh, the TOC with the uh, recommendations. Um, so as Otto mentioned in, in the chat, that's something that we're looking at um, within the working group, the DTR working group. So that should help inform all the project reviews that will be that are being done throughout the different tags. Okay, so I think the only concerns that I've heard are around the capacity for presentations during a tag meeting, and that, that seems to be less desirable in some tags because it, it takes up time that could be otherwise used for other tag-specific activities. Um, and then there's the request for some consistency, which is why we have the DTRs. But I think what what I'm hearing is sounds like we need to have the DTR portions in place first to ensure that it's a good use of everyone's time, that we're getting the outcomes that we're actually looking for before we can go through and make a change and introduce this kind of new requirement. We got to get a thumbs up. Cool. Um, all right. And so that'll help address some of that. I still want to provide the tags with more flexibility for how they want to actually conduct it. I mean, the DTRs will provide a little bit more of the specific structure in the context of sandbox or incubation or graduation. Um, so if the tag, if a tag still wants to have a presentation from a project, they can certainly do that, but there is a very specific kind of DTR resulting in some form of a recommendation that still occurs. Matt. Um, yeah, uh, thanks. I just wanted to briefly respond to one of the points around the tags having the capacity for presentations, uh, you know, that could be time otherwise used. Uh, we've had cases in the past with where tag observability were, um, well, I, I'll, I'll go the important part first, sorry. Um, uh, we found it incredibly useful over the years um, uh, to have recorded for posterity a fairly lengthy or deep technical talk uh, from projects. Uh, and using as much time as they want. Uh, uh, it's, and that's come in handy a lot of times when later the TOC and discussion said, hey, what about Bumblebee? Or what about this project or that project? Uh, um, or open cost, right? The ability to just have, be like, yep, here's the video, here's the, the slides. And it's, some, it's, it's at a sufficient depth that it's there when needed. Uh, you know, the tags history becomes sort of an index of the technical domain as it should be. Um, and that's been probably the singular most useful thing. So in order to accommodate that in cases where we have had where you know, business of the day, as well as these, you know, the Zoom recording is, can just be longer and we can just snip it out later and we'll just say, yeah, you know, we're, we'll handle the business first and talk as long as you want. Don't feel constrained by time. And oftentimes we've had some wonderful talks that are like, you know, more like instead of a half an hour, 25 minutes that just took some time and elaborated on points. And, and got into the why behind the, the, the design approach that the project is taking, which is really what you really need to understand, like the shape of that particular Lego and why it's shaped that way, um, if you will. Uh, so that would be my one piece of feedback on what's really worked. And, and it doesn't really cost anything because it's all it's all a Zoom recording. Um, and in some cases, you know, we just, I'd like to start editing it out and doing a lot more pre-production of some of the raw content, but we've got over 400 recordings now from the from tag observability with all kinds of stuff buried in it um, there for when the TOC might need it or others might want to use it. And so we have tag, lastly, we have tag like wanted help wanted issues already made for like, hey, let's help make this like a compendium, right? Or something like that, that we could 
that we could have as part of a big graph. Uh, and it's just needing resourcing and things like that. But um, that would be my suggestion. Okay, appreciate that. And I, I would also imagine that most projects need to have a little bit more specific guidance on what kind of presentation, because this isn't like a normal KubeCon presentation where you go and you oh, present correct. your project. Um, so as a, as, as, as a, you know, in the capacity of co-chair, uh, I usually have a, you know, brief 10 or 15 minute talk the week before or something like that and kind of lay out, you know, look, this, this can't be a pitch. It can't be a market check shirt. You know, this has to, is this, this is about the, the open project da, 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 and kind of get a little bit of a preview and sometimes work with them to help make it consistent. And then, and then I always have asked the same set of questions, which is, you know, uh, what do you need? <laughs> a good question in general, you know, in terms of contributor uh, engagement or just what does the project need as they kind of enter this phase of, or that, uh, and how can people engage with the project? What is your contributor ladder look like all of that? Um, and let them elaborate on how they're engaging with the community. And that's been, that open-ended question has been really useful. It's been telling in all kinds of ways, right? That, that can inform our assessments. Um, but but yeah, the guidelines would be would be great, and we've we've got um, some of that codified as well in the issues. Um, okay, awesome. Other thoughts and perspective on this? It sounds like overall, yes, good idea. Sounds. Sounds great, but let's let's actually see what comes out of DTRs before making a, any decisions. Yep. All right. We are at the end of the agenda that was planned. I wanted to open it up for other topics, questions, anything else that anybody would like to talk about. Nothing? Everything's quiet and going well. So I have a I have a question. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of tags and and working groups. Uh, so for example, you know, yesterday I was in in environment sustainability, and I think there is a lot of uh, opportunity for for tags and groups to collaborate on specific topics. For example, in the, in the context of AI, uh, AI you know has uh, a patch serving. Um, but also touches on sustainability and other things. And I just went to that meeting and um, it, it, it was great to meet the folks and, 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 and get introductions, but I also see a lack in like, hey, you know, this group is doing that over there and they're touching on exactly the same problems that you're touching on. There is a, a good, a very good opportunity for uh, a paper, a collaboration, maybe a talk, uh, I think it's a it would be a great venue or you know figuring out how to channel this collaboration and and surface it for the you know through the TOC maybe uh, would be great um, like you know here what do you want to collaborate on uh, here's what we're doing for example okay um, I don't think any of us would be in disagreement that there are plenty of opportunities for the tags to collaborate and work on things jointly I think largely it's what knowledge and awareness of what others are currently working on, which requires those updates from tags to know where there's opportunities. But it sounds like we're also missing um, areas of interest for collaboration and kind of expressing that a little bit more proactively instead of hunting through emails with some of these updates to see which portions of an activity and effort or working group, whether or not it's green reviews or if it's something else that's working on a topic of interest or overlap and alignment with another tag. How, what do others think? I know, Karina, you've had strong opinions about interoperability and integrations between projects and tags as well in the past. How Tags, how do you want to work, Karina? Um, um. It's funny that you mentioned that because uh, so and we're spinning up in two new working groups, right? In um, tag app delivery, so we have the uh, tag app development working group. That's all. Ex that's very exciting. And then also a infrastructure lifecycle working group. And so for that one, we also have talked about um, HA and DR, which has been a hot topic in the storage and networking tags. However it's cross domain, right? We have to worry about that in app delivery. 
you know, observability across the board. So I had asked Dems whether that would be good for an exploratory group. Um, he said that's probably better in um, just keep it in your working group and then talk to all the other tags. So I do, this is a great discussion because I wonder kind of like um, you have the new board for um, the tag meetings or the TOC meetings, I mean, is there perhaps a board that we could use for working groups and somehow like with the the sandbox board where you can tag multiple um, tags, um, label multiple tags. Um, anyway, that's one thought is that maybe we have, that could be a way where um, we collaborate async, but anyway, be interested to hear what others think. Um, Leo or Ricardo? Or Matt? Um, I, I like the idea of, of keeping stuff in, in GitHub but, and in, in that kind of discoverable form. Um, again, though, I, I've been away for a little bit, so um, I kind of I'm in the middle of catching up. So there could be all kinds of stuff waiting for me that is exactly great in any of the in any of these modalities, like an email, GitHub, this that. Um, so uh, I'm gonna I'm not sure yet. So just okay. just a way for us to at least know that it's happening in order to be involved, I suppose. Um, I think, so Adam in the chat posted if there was a link, a document to the Infra Lifecycle Working Group. And I think, Karina, to your point, having a central location to collect and surface some of these opportunities for collaboration or calls for support from other tags to assist in filling in some of these topic areas like HA and DR. Um, that could be beneficial. It can also be that more central location of where the work is being tracked within each of the individual tags if they're working on a portion of it as well. Um, right now, I know all of the tags have their own repo. So as a new contributor into the ecosystem or even an existing contributor who's solely been working on a project, not really interacting with the TOC or tags, it's kind of difficult to navigate which tag is doing what thing, what is it that they're working on because we're all doing it slightly different. And I know um, Rian has been doing a great job of trying to like provide a little bit more consistency and discoverability of what the tags are working on and who's who. So it would it is the TOC repo with a new project board with cards, not necessarily issues, but cards, a good place for that. Um, and from a process perspective and just thinking through like GitHub project board permissions, it might be that the liaisons need to kind of manage that activity. And so if a tag has an a request for input from another tag or an opportunity for collaboration, it's the TOC that should be working to make sure that that's documented and those communications have gone out. What do you think? What do folks feel? TOC members, how, how are you feeling about this? You've been quiet today. I'm going to start calling on folks. Duffy. Sorry, can you summarize the question again? I got distracted for just a moment. Sorry. It's all right. Um, would it make sense to create a project board with cards, not issues, oh, yes. that the TOC liaisons manage? for their tags to do calls for collaboration across other tags. Um, if we're all in agreement that a, a board is a central way to do that, then we can kind of facilitate it a little bit easier through that location. I think that would make sense. I think also like, um, I like the idea, I like that you're doing the exploration and uh, um, into like where you see a potential collaboration between between things. I think that's great and I don't want to lose it. So like if cards in a, in a board, allows you to capture what you're seeing as far as like what could be useful in collaboration, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, don't want to lose it. Yep. Matt? Uh, I love the idea of a Kanban style board actually, you know, because particularly if there's a backlog, right? Like, like again, like if you look on the tag observability repo, there's all these help wanted issues. Um, we have working group labels uh, uh, in other in other contexts. I've always found it helpful to have like a collaboration type 
right? Like tag, tag observability has collaborated, you know, across to, to, to multiple other um, tags and the working groups, I think, to the previous point, have even more opportunity to be at and as they should be kind of cross uh, working groups can have cross cutting concerns if they're if they're really addressing them so um um yeah I, it makes it actionable right because most people in at least in software land have at one point or another worked in in a kanban style you know agile backlog of of opportunities things um another thing that you know you could even name it like ideal wellspring or something like that right you know like uh, you know the the the, the grab bag of stuff that is just actionable and has already been vetted and is just waiting for people to contribute. Like I think it, it, that approach, in addition to kind of communicating what's up and what's happened recently and what's about to happen and what, what you can join in with, but you know, it, it lowers the friction uh, to new contributors. Um, yeah. So. Uh, we also have the discussions on the TOC repo as well that can be used. There's the tag chairs uh, Slack channel um, where we we've been doing a lot more of the like mass communication out to all the tags, um, but I don't know that we've used it enough um, or the discussions enough as well. Ricardo had a comment in chat. And next, all of the information and feed it into a vector show. <laughs> I, think, hey, I think. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, I, I think uh, it just occurred to me too, just in the moment uh, here. But you know, if we're going to have a Kanban board, like maybe, maybe the us, maybe the tags, we could have like a monthly, like stand up, if you will, or where we, or 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 or, or an hour where we walk the board, right? Well, uh, that's right, what across, this, across all of us. That's what this can become if we're making good use of the time. Like we already have this meeting already on the calendar first Tuesday of every month to talk about the tags. Yes. Can we use the TOC meeting for it? So, so let's, so let's do that. Maybe one of us for, maybe we can just like, a, if someone is, I, I don't have resources and it's not really what I'm great at, but if someone were to like, just kind of drive this, like as a project manager, almost, you know, maybe it can be a rotating position. So someone doesn't get stuck with PMing all the time. Uh, but, um, you know, if there was that kind of cadenced thing, with an agenda, I had a, had time driven by that board. I think it would be accessible to a lot of people. Certainly. Okay. All right. Um. So what I'm hearing is tag updates first Tuesday of every month. An email reminder will go out in advance. Um. Probably some Slack messages as well to remind folks to provide those emailed summaries of all the great things that's going on and the health of the group. Um, in addition to that, uh, we will set up a project board with some cards to allow tags to facilitate with their liaisons if there's collaboration opportunities, an area where they need input from other tags, and leverage the tag chairs channel as well to put that information out there. So this is really about facilitating better collaboration between the tags and, and the TOC is serving as that mechanism for that collaboration to happen. That still means that if you all want that collaboration to work, you're gonna need to pay attention to that board. Um, we can pin it to the tag chairs channel, um, but let's, we'll, we will try it. We will check back in. We will use the Tuesday meetings to go over the email updates as well as kind of the board. Does that yeah. work? Uh I don't want to jump stomp over anybody else. I, I have a, but I'll say this is also like there's a win win here for all of the tag co chairs, right? Because you, we can bring now to our 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 meetings, ours are twice monthly, uh, you know, a normal section of our meeting that can be informed by you know what's happening elsewhere. Like I've oftentimes brought you know a, a, what, what what's going on at the TOC level to the tag meeting. Our tag meetings are immediately following this actually. <laughs> In this, so it makes it easy, but um, to disseminate that that you know broadly across all of the channels, I think it, it just makes the 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 business of running um, tag meetings a, a little bit more. Um, you know, the, here's a pulse, right? You can kind of it, it gives people a reason to come in uh, and see the meeting when where they otherwise wouldn't, because hey, I can hear firsthand what's happening because I want to engage, but I don't know how, right? So across all of the domains at, at once, we can kind of like spider out. Um, so I think that's really 
just, just to point that out, you know, I think we, we got something as well. Yep. Okay. All right. So the next time we meet, hopefully we'll have um, a little bit more structure in the agenda for this um, so that it's very clear and we can actually start exercising this, making sure that we're, it's working, that we're all doing it. Um, sound good? Any other questions, comments? Leo is asking if we should get the updates right first before we start doing more things. I think that's a fair concern. Okay. So let's let's try to get the updates going. Let's focus on that. Um, we'll revisit probably in, in two more months um, going through this and then kind of reassess whether or not the cards are a good place in the interim. If there are opportunities for project collaboration, please use the tag chairs channel, Karina. To Leo's point, um, I was wondering if um, maybe somebody could help link in when the emails are sent to the TOC list, which gets a wider range for the updates. Um, and multiple tags have started to just have a running document. So, you know, uh, tag run times and then Leo. Um, what I'm getting to is, can somebody help link those into the the cards that you're already using for the, the agenda for the TOC meetings, the new ones? So then there's also a central place where you can find the updates and not go search through all the email lists or the Slack channels and everything else. Because I know you're trying to centralize um as well so it's easier to find the information yes i need to figure out how to get that represented on the cards and the meeting card uh, board all right i'll take that as an action thank you thanks for bringing it up cool anything else all right thank you so much everyone I really appreciate your time today and I will let you all go with 13 minutes back. See ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.